Welcome back to On The Beat. Isaac here this week and I have with me this week uh, Patrick Wooten from Richard Swartz and Associates. And uh, Patrick, thanks for uh, being with us Absolutely. Uh, today. Good to see you again. Yes. Uh, it's been a while since we've been together. Absolutely. All right. We've got uh, some questions here. So kind of talking about cases and mm -hmm. their value is Absolutely. what we'll kind of start with. So. What is the most important factor that determines the value of a case? It's great. And that's the number one question people ask. What's my case worth? And yeah. unfortunately, the number one thing is going to be injuries. How yeah. severely injured were you? Because mm -hmm. um, the crazy thing is, unfortunately, you can go to the emergency room nowadays and run up an $18,000 bill. But if you only go one time, it doesn't have as much value of, hey, I broke my arm and maybe I have $5,000 in medical bills, but that case could be worth more. Because you'd be out of work longer. Work longer and it's a much more catastrophic injury. All right, so what are some factors that would increase or decrease a case's value? Yep, great question. Increase, and this is going to sound odd to our viewers, <laughs> where did it happen? Okay. There are 82 counties in Mississippi. Yes. Insurance companies have color-coded maps that color code good for an injured person, good for the insurance company, or middle of the road. So Interesting. Lowndes County can have one value. Octibaha County can have another value. Even Clay County can have a third value for the same wreck. Same oh. set of facts, but depending on where it happened, the value can be here, here, And this is all here. based on from an insurance company's It's the insurance company's perspective. We do the same thing as a trial law firm. Okay. Is we know historically what are the values that juries give. You know, okay. what's the value that an insurance company gives. So that's a huge one. Where did it happen? People don't ever think about that, sure. but it's one of those first conversations we have. Okay. Um, Any other examples? Another big one is what is the amount of property damage? Mm -hmm. Is it the scratch on the bumper or is it, oh my gosh, the car was absolutely Total. demolished? Yeah. It gets to the saying, a picture's worth a thousand words. Sure. So showing a jury a picture of a car that's totaled versus a car that has, you know, a small golf ball size dent in it has a completely different visceral reaction from a jury. Perfect. That's some yep. great information. So venue, you just mentioned county yep. uh, as, as one determinant, but what about the venue? Why is that a big factor overall to a case? Yeah, so venue's big overall because there's really have two choices. Mm -hmm. Most people, when there's a wreck, you run into me, which I know you never do because you're a I safe driver. Yeah. You're a great driver. <laughs> but if you run into me here today in Lowndes County, but let's say you actually live in Octibaha. I know okay. you don't, but let's say you lived in Octibaha. As the plaintiff's law firm, we could actually choose where to file that case. Do we want to file it where the accident happened or do we want to file it where the defendant, you in that circumstance, lives? So okay. that's where you look always to figure out which of those two counties is more favorable to the injured person. So you would be you would be looking at which color coded county. <laughs> That's would exactly be best right. For you. Yeah, because <laughs> we have a very similar map. I mean, it's not color coded, but we all know based on our 500 years of experience at the firm, which are great counties for someone injured versus some you know which is not as favorable. Okay. All right. Another one. Uh, what then? What are some things besides venue, I guess, yep. that could diminish the value of a case? Is not completing your medical treatment. The sure. doctor orders you to undergo physical therapy and you miss appointments mm -hmm. or you just cut it short. They say, hey, you need to get an MRI or a CT scan and you don't do it. Mm -hmm. So not completing medical is huge. because might be an inconvenience for you. That's but right. You know, at the end of the day, it could be worse down the road. That's right. That one is a huge one if you just skip medical appointments. Sure. Because the insurance company immediately red flags that is, hey, Isaac wasn't as hurt as bad as he's saying because it wasn't that important to him to get to his medical appointment. Perfect. We've well, heard some great information so far. How can this 500 year experience <laughs> law right. firm help you get the most out of your you know, uh, injury? Great case? question. Is calling us? It takes one call. That's all. You know, 662 988 8888. You know, we're going to be able to evaluate your claim and determine how we can help you. Love the people we have working for us. Best team we've ever had in the history of the firm. And so we're going to walk you through the legal minefield. All right, perfect. Patrick, we sure appreciate you spending some time. You heard the number there just from uh, Patrick. Uh, and any additional information is listed there on your screen. We'll be back after this.